We are recording and welcome back to the question and answer section of this show. And we're going to do something which is really, really cool. We are going to do the quick fire challenge. I have set up a series of analysis for us to do. And we are, <laughs> I'm glad the techies amongst you have picked up on that. Um, we are going to uh, to do a quick fire challenge. I love Top Chef. Top Chef is one of my favorite shows. And uh, we are going to do the quick fire analysis challenge. It's a tad irreverent. That's one way of describing it. And okay, so we I've got three lined up here to do uh, so far. So re are you ready, Guru Bob? I'm just watching the chat window here. So Iron Chef is also good. Yeah, that Padma is uh, she's got a lot of talent, really. All right, and Tom Colicchio's sandwich, which I go to in San Francisco, I love. All right, let's go. First one off the rank. What do you reckon? 33, no mic. This one you can take to the bank. You're absolutely right. This is, this is killer. This one is good to go. You can see SEOT 111, the, everything's great. The trends graph is solid. It's a solid uh, thing. Um, this one, uh, you know who you are, uh, me love this graph long time, next. Okay, here we are, next one, uh, let me just see if I can get that a little bit bigger for you guys. Okay. Let's have a look here. I wish I had a pointer, but unfortunately I can't get this. This one's nowhere near as good. See, look, at a lot of people are pointing out number nine, and that's a, why are they pointing out number nine? So if you can count down, I'll, I'll read out the numbers for those of you who are having trouble seeing it. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine. See, number nine has it has three backlinks. It has three um, domain links. It has no PR, and it has absolutely no on-page optimization. Uh, oh, sorry, it has one. Sorry, in the URL, which is good. Which is probably why it's in nine in the. Uh, the first case. So, but if you look at the top again, you know, you're looking, there's not a huge amount of uh, on page stuff being done. And when I say on page, remember, folks, I'm referring to the far right past Yahoo title, URL, description, headlines. So that's what we're talking about uh, in that. Uh, the Now, as Guru Bob points out, though, Maybe number nine's not too bad. Have a look at the traffic size. Nice point. See, that's why that's why he's the guru. Look at that, 1,021. So even at nine, he's going to get it. And maybe some of the others there may be assailable. There's definitely like the, in eight, seven, what, seven and six have had some on-page work and also some Yahoo work. Five has got a lot of links. Four uh, has some, you know, DMZ action as well. Um, so, you know, maybe it's one of those is the affiliate. There you go. So, but definitely, you can see the difference, right, folks, between this one and the part the the past one was a slam dunk. Um, so. This one is tougher, but maybe it's worth putting in the effort because of the number of searches that are that are there. And you know, at the end of the day, 123 page bank links is that impossible to do? No. Nancy's saying number two. She's adamant about number two. See, I'm I'm seeing a PR of three. I'm seeing 123 backlinks, which is possible. 
uh, to do over the course of the challenge. You'd have to do quite a bit of work. Uh, but I'd still, I'd still think it takes a bit of time myself. Yes, if you knew the uh, Yahoo directory trick, that is true. Okay, but we don't know the Yahoo directory trick, people. Right? The Yahoo directory trick does not exist. Goodness me. Value, that's what I say, value. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's bring it down for you. Let's have a look. What do you think, folks? What are your thoughts? Now, for those of you who are analyzing, the first thing you gotta look at is green to yellow ratio. Okay, green to yellow ratio is the first thing that you gotta have a look at. And there's a nice lot of green, but it's all on the, again, it's the, and this is this should be a fascinating lesson to you all of how much on screen uh, on page on screen factors on page factors of SEO are just ignored, which is uh, which is clever. Now let's have a look here. First two look pretty hardcore to me. Number four is looking pretty good. So again, compared to, compared to this first one, there you have it. I would put this in the middle of the first two, but you go the fourth. Now, I don't have a trap. I think the traffic number on this was actually, the SEOT was really, really, really good. I am pretty sure. Um, hopefully the person who sent it in, Burnsy. 81 uh, for the uh, I'm pretty sure the SEOT of this was high from memory uh, so that was that okay cool that was our quick fire and I will keep doing those because it's good to uh, it's good to uh, just I think the only practice the first two were hardcore because there were a lot of backlinks they were listed in uh, the DMOZ directory, though um, they weren't in Yahoo, but they had a lot, there was a lot of work done uh, on each of those that you couldn't assail easily. Can you build lots of links over time? Oh yeah, <laughs> of course you can. But remember in the 30 day challenge, we're looking for easy traffic. We're looking for easy traffic fast. And the incredible thing about Market Samurai, and this is what you really have to understand, you really got to understand this. You've never been able to see that before. You just have not been able to see it visualized in that way, where you can instantly say, okay, I think I can get to four. Once you get good at reading the charts, you can say, yeah, I think I can get to four in a reasonable amount of time. Or yeah, I can, or I don't have a chance to get in the, in the whole thing. So that's part of it. Okay, now let's go for some questions. <laughs> if you pay Yahoo to be on their search engine, does it make a big difference into your ranking? Unfortunately, I can't answer that question because in the 30 day challenge, we can't recommend for you to pay anything. So unfortunately, I can't answer that question. Uh, let's see, is it worth going for a niche where you could easily obtain position three, but very unlikely to get positions one or two? Yeah, absolutely, depending on what your SEOT, what is the SEOT score of that? Like that last one, which we saw, which had a thousand and so on, you could still get what, 100, 120? I'm doing public math, which is bad. Around 100 searches a day? 
And remember, with my horrific marketing skills, I can sell something to one in every 200 people. So that's worth, for you know, doing what you're gonna to see tomorrow, that's, boy, is that worth doing? Uh, let's have a look. What is, uh, I, I think I explained why sometimes you're not getting competition results. You need to go to the Google external keyword tool and check there to see, because it could be a data center issue. Okay, uh, what if I have a specific niche I need to be in but can't find the keyword to get a good ranking? Well, look, Cynthia, two things I've got to say to you. One, thing one, is that a lot of this research has been focused on the, the process which we're going to start showing you tomorrow. Remember I said to you, and here's, okay, folks, bombshell. We're not showing just one way to get traffic this year. We're showing two, okay? And if people think that all we're doing is just social networking like we taught last year in last year's challenge, you have not seen anything yet. We've had a look at what the very few, I must admit, admit critics have had to say about the 30-day challenge and we've decided to put ourselves to the test. And thanks to some you know, pioneering work by the team here, uh, you're gonna see something which is gonna blow you away tomorrow. And for all the inverted commas critics of social networking traffic generation methods, you're gonna get kicked in the teeth. But even better than all of that, for markets like that, because I do, you're absolutely right, Cynthia, there are some markets where you know it's gonna be fine enough to find a way in with the traffic. Here's the thing though, there's two things you gotta understand. One is you gotta understand that that may be a market that's just never gonna give you much traffic. It's just not that popular. That's a hard thing to swallow, but sometimes that's the case. However, if you need to be in it, then be all over it in that market and maybe you can get enough spread. Inside the immediate edge, we, we have this saying, every single market is a $10,000 a month market. Every single market in the world, I don't care what it is, is a $10,000 a month market. The amount of effort that you have to put in to get there and the number of traffic generation strategies you have to get there are what's key. And at least you know, here's the thing, Cynthia, before you saw all of these strategies and before you saw Market Samurai, you would have gone into that niche blind to all of that knowledge, spent all this work and effort and time creating a product for it, and then you go, here I am, here's my product and wondered why nothing ever happened. At least, and as you say, if you have to be in that niche, at least you know what you're facing. You're going in eyes wide open. And there are lots of legitimate reasons to go into marketplaces which don't appear to have the right traffic, don't appear to have the, the right thing, but at least you know what you're up against. Uh, okay, um, let's have a look. I got a result set with the first three as separate listings for products.google.com, but in Google they show as three line items for the main listing in products. Does each line item count as a position in regards to traffic? I think what Vince is asking there is, do you know when in, um, in Google you'll see a search result where you have the first search result and then they'll show another search result from that site? The answer to that question is yes, that counts. That absolutely counts. So uh, if there is one and then two, then funnily enough, one and then uh, two, that does count, even if it's from the same domain. Oh, look, here's one from Bambi. Yeah, we'll show this up here. Hang on. Oh, hang on. that's my samurai. Great, there's the samurai. Move the samurai for a second. Okay, folks, little test. Now let me just key this up. Tell the samurai to go away. Just set this up for you. All right, folks. Let's have a look there. So we've got 91 search. 
and we've got 26,000 traffic. So we need to be able to get a high ranking on this one to make it work. That says to me toughish for number one, definitely tough for number, yeah, number one's gonna be hard. And see, this is the thing. Number one is gonna get uh, around 91, uh, you know, give or take, not exactly, of course, but 91 um, tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, to get number into num position number two, which is, it's got a PR of two, so it's gonna be tricky. Look at that, but what interests me is look at three, four, and five with the number of page bank links. I'm tipping their product type things. Could be tricky, that one. Could be a bit tricky. You could try for that number two spot, but that it, it could be a bit tricky. The Bobster might uh, come in and uh, give you his opinion on that one. Okay, next question. Uh, people are asking, can one set of factors uh, override the other set of factors? The, the facts are, who knows? I don't think anybody knows. I'm not sure even Google knows. <laughs> the, I, I think what you need to understand is that it's, it's a mixture of things. And I think for the first time, until we saw this tool with this visual, with all of this visual stuff, all um, all sort of um, presented to you in this way, it's been very hard to define that. And I think what will happen is people use Market Samurai more and more and more. We're going to learn, uh, we're going to learn about that. And we're gonna learn more and more in terms of pattern, sort of the recognition of the patterns. Uh, okay, let's have a look. If the search numbers stack, search numbers Phil asks if the search num numbers stack up, but are about double what you normally recommend, would it be okay to go ahead with a niche given that I'm perhaps a little bit more savvy? Yes, uh, <laughs> duh. Yes, Phil. Yeah, I mean we're using these these numbers. If you're uh, say an edge member or something like that, I mean we just showed you how to take on a market that had five million competing pages and did it within a couple of days. Um, it's about starting out. It's about, you know, uh, the 30 day challenge is about starting out. So yes, if you've got more experience, then you know what to do to uh, compete at higher numbers. Absolutely for certain, for shizzle. We need, we want to get, we want to get starting results. We want to pick off the edges and then we want to get that going. Okay. Nancy's asking, too early for you to say a few words about domain backlinks. Yes, we will be covering that, but much later in the challenge. Oh, here we are, got a couple more of these. Let's have a look, we've still got a bit of time. Okay, just bringing this across for you guys. And go. Okay, so you can see here, we've got uh, search engine optimized traffic 204, page is good, trends are good. Or you can see there, there's a Christmas flavor to all of this. Um, oh, what do you feel? What do you think about this one? Hey, hey, I'm loving this one a long time. For shizzle, my missile. That is right, exactly. Yes, if you could just let me know what that one is, please. Thank you. <laughs> just kidding. 
just kidding, you should be happy. Okay, and we said that one. All right, let's have a look here. Got another one for you. Oh, hang on. Da -da. Hopefully that's it. Okay. Oh, this one's a little small. Can you guys see that? Yeah, let me use my sketch skills here. The uh, SEOT numbers are absolutely fantastical. Ah, oh, that's better. Why are position one and two going to be tricky. Now this is an interesting one. What are we seeing in this? This is the first time I've seen this in, in analysis uh, here. What are we seeing? in the, There's something interesting in this one in particular that we haven't seen before I think on the show. Good point. Who was that? My KLK. Oh, how do you pronounce that? I have no idea how you pronounce that, but you're absolutely spot on. Have a look at this, folks. Do you know there's obviously some SEO action in here? There are obviously p people, because it's so, well, inverted commas so rare. Have a look at that. Position one, two, three, four, five, number six, and number seven, eight, nine, ten. Check them out. They are all optimized up the wazoo, which is interesting because we haven't seen that for on-page SEO. So I would be fascinated to go and have a look at those sites and look at exactly what they're doing. Isn't this cool? You can say, oh, hang on a second. I have to check this out. And then of course, but look at the domain age on number three. Domain age is important. But look at the domain age of one of the ones that has all the on screen. I, I reckon, yeah, see number one, two, three, four, five. That number six is definitely a dude. There's no question. So there you are. That is a good example. All right. Let's go to some more questions. I've got to keep deleting these or I'm going to get into trouble. Uh, there'll be nothing about affiliates tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Cynthia, who's somebody we analyzed, is saying her, her niche is huge, so she's pumped. Oh, this one from uh, Mark. I'll pop up here because this has a SEOT of 3,600. Come on, are you, are you playing with us? Ah, 3,600 people. What do you think? Three thousand six hundred SEOT. There is no on page anywhere, but the domain age here is high. I, you know what I'm tipping? That one, two, and three 
is uh, this is this is a keyword that has been analyzed by Google humans I think this has been I think this particular phrase has gone through and given the traffic numbers doesn't surprise me uh, that this has gone through the Google judge yeah it's a, the domain authority is very high, and this is what Guru Bob's saying. And look at nines and twelves. Like this is uh, extremely, extremely high, and they're right through. And that's why I, th I think you know. Do, I don't know if you guys know, but phrases eventually get analysed by a jury, literally a jury of people, um, which Google actually goes and analyses and looks at. And often they'll like re uh, replace um, sites based on their human analysis. So for me, I'd say that's tough going. I would say that one is tough going because that to me, uh, I'd love to know what those three top sites are. What would I be doing? And I don't know anything about this niche. I'd be looking at those top three sites because this is an education opportunity. L look at those top three sites versus those next three sites because uh, look at it, it says PR2 PR0 PR0 that I, I'd love to know uh, what that one is because that's an interesting that's a case study for a 30-day challenge purposes uh, I think it's a move on We've answered that. All right, guys, I'm sorry, but we're going to have, uh, I've got another 10 minutes of this and then we're going to have to wrap it up for today and I'm not going to get to everybody, uh, everybody's questions. I apologize in advance, but we'll be same show, same bad time tomorrow. What if our phrase is something that we can replace with our own stuff like car or motorcycle? I'm not 100% sure what you're saying with that one. Um, okay, there's some advanced questions in there. Oh, now, JF asks, uh, with the number of people in the challenge, it's in inevitable that the same keyword will be used by multiple people. Yes, it is absolutely inevitable that that will happen. There is no question. Uh, does this mean we have to be the first to use the day six thing so that we can claim our keyword first? Uh, yes and no, uh, because it's not about what happens tomorrow, it, it's what you do to that domain over time, which will ultimately be the ultimate arbiter. The person who works uh, works hardest um, and applies the teachings best does that. And uh, as Bob uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically colourfully says, it's a competitive world baby. And it is. It is a competitive world. And so that may indeed happen. Uh, but if it does, don't freak out. It's happened every year, even when there was only 927 of us. And we've got a few more than 927. So it does happen. Don't panic about it. Be nice. Be friendly. Um, it's a uh, thing. I don't know why you're feeling discouraged, Z Girl. You've got so much time and so much opportunity to uh, make it work. And when you see tomorrow, you really have no excuse, bluntly. Uh, because, you know, it's like push a button. Oops, did I just say that? Um, okay, let's have a look. I'm still not clear how we're using the keyword phrase we choose. That will all become brutally upfront and apparent tomorrow. Do you know how Google earns money? We're going to be exploring that in great detail. They make advertising. Uh, all those links, boxes on the right-hand side, Edgar, uh, are all paid for advertising, and they make billions on that. Uh, 
can on page factor done that one what if our phrase is something we oh, I, I did that one and unfortunately I wasn't quite sure what that meant uh, when I do my keyword uh, search for my pre-existing website all the good ones have been used to death except for some which have not been used at all what do I do go with the good ones that put me way back at the listings or something weird that no one will Google well Beverly you've sort of answered your own question there because hey weird is good if there's traffic but the fundamental question is there traffic on the weird phrases or not if there's traffic go for it you've just found your foothold and the weakness in the market and you can go for it if there's decent traffic but if those weird phrases don't have any traffic don't have the SEOT then move on it's time to move on I have three great URLs containing keyword phrases for a niche should I use the one with the most traffic as the web page URL that redirects to the other one yes how although we'll cover that in more detail over the next few days how do the search engines value redirects? Uh, that, that's a topic for outside the 30-day challenge. Guru Bob might want to tackle that in the uh, chat window. When you're looking at competition ana analysis, Clara asks, is it fair to say that you can look from position one to 10 to see how penetrable a market is? Exactly. With your example on the show tonight, it was easy to see that the first three positions would take serious work. Once you see that the fourth position is doable, do you really need to look at positions five and 10? Uh, I would, if I was gonna work in it. I mean, how long does it take? Five minutes just to go and have a flick through and just see what you're looking at? Because you need to get a feel for your market. You know, this isn't all, you know, we're doing a lot of numbers stuff at the moment, but you know, markets, and we use number, numbers are great, great for filtering. But when you start to want to grow your marketplace, you need to start to understand and know your marketplace. And knowing who those top 10 for that particular phrase is on Google is a very important thing. So it's worth looking at, for sure. What are they doing? What phrases are they using? What are they, what's competition? Uh, what products are they selling? What are they doing? All those sorts of things, I think, are worth it. Uh... Uh, Taran asks, off topic and just fun, Ed, do you wear black shirts on purpose to keep your look consistent? All I see when I look below the video feed is a bunch of videos of you all wearing a black shirt. Yes, I absolutely uh, use black for consistency. And actually I teach a whole seminar on all of this because there's a lot uh, that I do in terms of videos which are not part of the, the whole thing. And most importantly of all, black is slimming. Uh, okay, let's just do a couple more. Okay, Kent asks, and this is a great question because I noticed this coming up a lot and I didn't, it's probably my fault. Uh, everything else being equal, would a niche or a keyword around a physical item be better or worse than a more general niche, say widget collecting, as opposed to green widgets? Either or, it really doesn't matter. It's all about is there traffic and can you make inroads with the competition? That's all it's about. Also the same people have, because I've been talking about products so much, I use the term product very generically to include services, whereas uh, uh, other people are much more literal. If you've got a service, like you're providing services, this stuff is killer. Um, like I like, pro I'm a, I've got a products bias because I don't, you know, every time I sell a product, doesn't mean I have to spend my time doing it. Whereas if you're providing a service, often you're you're limited by the number of hours you can work. That's a general generic bias that I have. However, having said that, this stuff works just brilliantly for services, uh, just brilliantly. So please, you know, you can absolutely use services. This uh, this T-shirt's from the uh, the Hard Rock Orlando, which is where uh, Dan and I will be having our United States conference, which is very cool. Okay, let's have a look. We'll do, um, let's have a look. Okay, Shauna asks, two of the keyword phrases I'm looking at have 250 and 167 traffic 
and 178 and 7 uh, SEOT, which I think you're asking, which looks good to me. But there is such a thing as the SEOC number being too low. If As long as it's there, it's quite pot. We have seen some freaky things in our time where you know a phrase that attracts traffic has very little pages, which is really, uh, really quite weird. So um, that is part of the, the whole thing. All right. Uh, okay, let's do one more. Um, one more analysis and then we'll, we have to I'm sorry guys I know I haven't got to everybody's questions tonight but I will be here tomorrow here we go let's have a look at this one. Oh, that's a hang on is that the same one that's the same we've done that sorry I thought that was another one damn it I'm going to pick one more. Here we are. Let's find. Uh, one more, one more. Oh, Lucas is asking, after we completed the 30-day challenge, will videos still be made to help us out or notify us of anything new? Or will videos only be made during next pre-season? Um, no, the 30-day challenge is designed to be a, a self-encompassing course. Uh, you know, we do stuff from time to time, as we did last year. But, you know, then we go and do, you know, Dan and I have to go back to our day jobs. So, no, not specifically. Okay, I think... There's somebody who's sending me a link to a screenshot in the forum, which is really hard for me to bring up. Ah, good. It worked. It actually worked. Okay, so here's our last one. There's poor old Annabelle chucks a mental. Her life sucks so bad. Okay. What's immediately obvious about this? What is immediately obvious about this one? Sam Thomas, you win a lollipop. Come on, think about it, suffix 101. What's my day job? Come on. For me, if you're asking about sending screenshots to us for analysis, I'm afraid I'm sorry, we can't do it. Um, I can do it on the show and I can get through as many as I can get through. Uh, but guys, this is about you. And this is about you doing this stuff. Um, there's no way we could answer individual analysis because we've got a lot of stuff on our plate. Um, the best thing you can do, and this is something that Caro has been doing brilliantly, is post them to the forum, but post them to the forum with your own analysis. I think this is a very, very important thing. So guys, what's your what's your verdict on this one? Yeah, positions two and three are dang near identical, strange. Uh, yeah, position nine, simple, but anything else would be require some work, says Guru Bob. Absolutely correct. This one is um, crazy. Let me let me come back to you guys. This is an important point, and I wish I'd said this in the show. Uh, best way to get your stuff analyzed because unfortunately and we're going to have to move on from market analysis because after tomorrow there's a whole new world so 
what you need to do if you want to get your markets analyzed, the forum is there to help. But we must ask you to do one thing first, and it's for your own good. And I think it was implemented by Carol, and I think it's brilliant. And that is publish your screenshot on the forum. Totally cool. But you must provide your own analysis. Putting up something and saying, what do you think? And that's it. Caro, you have my position to tell them, permission to tell the moderators to delete it, okay? What I want you guys to do, because this is about teaching you something, right? And if you don't have a, it doesn't matter if you're wrong. That's it, nobody's gonna jump. This is a design, this course is designed for people who are new. And these are tricky concepts. We're trying to condense quite a lot of years of you know, thinking and analysis into a couple of days. So that's fine. So there's no, there's, nobody's gonna laugh at you and say, you idiot. Quite the opposite. The whole 30 day challenge is dis, is defined and described by the newbie. Hor horrifically, the term the newbie or the noob has become some sort of phrase of derision, which is disgusting because bluntly everybody has been one. And this course, amongst all others in terms of internet marketing, is designed for you. So there is no fear to be had. However, we're not here for handouts either. I mean, this is a free, so I suppose it's charity in that sense, but that's as far as the charity goes. You must put in some work and effort. So when you post on the forum with your screenshot, and moderators warnings first, please, because not everybody will have seen this. You need to provide your own analysis. What's your view of this market? I think this market is, and I think this market is like this because. Put it up there and then let the rest of the forum help you out. There are some extraordinarily experienced marketers who are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month who have actually taken time out to help people during this month as well. So, you know, You've got a huge body of knowledge there on the forum. So I think that's a fair way of doing it. What do you reckon, guys? Does that make sense? Just looking at some chat window action. They love it. Yeah, and that's that's what we're going to do. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the trick. That's what we're going to do. And that's how you can do your analysis. So feel free to provide your screenshots just like you've seen on the forum. But please make sure, and we'll give you a couple of days grace on this, but you'll be told by a moderator to provide your own analysis before other people will analyze it. Okay, so you provide your own thing because we want to teach you something. We're about you trying, okay? So you make a deposit in the trying bank account and that'll allow us to help you. All right, there you go. I think that is a good idea. And with that, we are going to stop the recording.